Hi everybody, this is Clint. I'm the owner of Black Box Gaming Systems. We're doing some Farpoint, and I'm using the aim controller, the new aim controller. This is a Adjust PlayStation the VR title. How tall you are. So I'll just let this play, and you can uh, see what is happening. And uh, after this setup, will be the prologue of the game. Adjust the height. Okay, so you, you adjust it so the that following steps will confirm that you are positioned correctly. The camera's at your height. Area. Shows your height. Yeah. This shape represents the tracking area of the camera. <laughs> it's a little bit of mucking around, but the PlayStation uh, camera tracks the VR headset and PlayStation VR aim controller. There to you play go. Farpoint, you must be within the tracking area. If the controller yeah. or the VR headset go outside of the tracking area, they cannot be tracked. I'm about a meter if away, so I'm going to move. Or the tracking is lost. This shape will appear in game to guide you back into position. Yeah, so I'll I've, I've moved back. Stand uh, on the far this. point logo on the ground. Stand on the far point logo. On there you go. To confirm tracking, touch each segment with your controller. I'm still close to the TV, but I will move back about two meters away and I'll, I'll angle the tracking, TV side facing me. Segment with, to see the location of the camera and the tracking area while playing the game, hold the options button. Setup yeah. complete. Thank you. Quite exciting. Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit, and that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> yeah, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy, forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer, named after the poem. Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is pretty, this is pretty impressive. Wanderer, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto docking sequence. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Okay, I'm obviously Wanderer. I'm in that seat. Got a view outside. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're going to need a second over here. 
Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. So Pilgrim have the other two? Wait, wait. I think it's still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. There's Dr. Moon, the guy, and then you got the thing. Still nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is Command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. Wow, this is quite... We need an engineer to go out and fix the docking immersive. mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release Clarity's the first Clarity's amazing. Tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? <laughs> that is not a useful question here. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So, please. Yeah, it's incredible. Command, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Shadowing. Roger, holding position. Lighting, very nice indeed. A few little jaggies in the, in the shadows, okay. but... I'm opening the outer hatch. Very good. It's very good. Looking good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? Yeah, but for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. God, <laughs> look at it. Sixty yards out. Oh dear. Wait, wait, wait. The hell is that? Pilgrim, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Eva. Fuck five. Six on. Here we go. Oh my god. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it. What is it doing? We gotta move now. Wander, open your outer airlock. Standing up, it's uh it's quite unusual. You can feel the movement. Ooh, feel the vibration through the air control as well. The vibration of the ship. Cut it now! Oh shit. That's not good. Wander, don't leave us. Someone's going someone's gonna go. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I've got a stance, I've got to change my stance like I'm in a fighting stance. Otherwise I'll fall backwards. <laughs> wow, this is this is crazy. Cass, location report now. Location unknown. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen, 2% oxygen, 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. Whoa, okay. So I'll have to keep the uh, old helmet on and uh, oxygen pumping. I don't know how I'm going to replace the oxygen. Use the highlighter stick to move forward. 
So I've got to play around. Working out. Okay. It's forward sorted. Let's check out the control. Okay, I'm speeding it up here. And I want to turn, so we need a uh, smooth turning mode. I was trying to work out why I couldn't turn, I could only strafe. It's the audio and uh, the controller layout I can show it another time. Okay, so I can move forward a little bit. And I will finish finish up here. I just wanted to uh, get up to this point, to the point where you're actually in the game playing. Now you can move your head, yep, move forward, and you can move the weapon all independently of each other. So strafe, turn your head, and move your weapon. So you've got three things happening at once. I don't know why you do the uh, click or, or, or move you know, bit by bit, I don't like that at all. It's like uh, Resident Evil 7, and uh, you've got the option of, to smooth, to turn smoothly. But this you do. Anyway, I'll catch you next time with some uh, gameplay. Clean out.